YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. Um, there's some things that I've, a couple of things that I've added to uh, my bio. Um, two pieces of important kit. Some of it is a bit cosmetic, and the other thing is uh, more functional. Right. So the two things that I added to it, and the reason why I've been talking about it is because um, I wanted to ride for a couple of months when I do long distances and everything else to make sure that. You know, I get a good feeling on it, right? So the two things that I've added to my bike uh, to change the look of it a little bit, and also to uh, add some functionality and uh, have a better ride as well. So the two items that I've added to my uh, Harley Davidson Street Bar was uh, the Memphis Shades Gauntlet fairing and the Krauss Moto uh, FM Fly Bar. I think that's what it's called. Uh, probably put a link below. So. Um, I wanted to just show you how it's mounted and how it looks like on my bike and maybe give you a little impression of how it is. So this is uh, my bike, the Harley Davidson Street Bob, and the thing that you see in front of you right now is the gauntlet, or sorry, the Memphis Shades gauntlet fairing. Uh, obviously the skull was uh, something I put on and it's from Harley Davidson obviously, it's a really Gilly skull. Now, uh, a lot of people refer to this gauntlet as uh, the Memphis Shades gauntlet fairing as a half fairing. Um, I used to have the original Harley Davidson uh, fairing which was about I think 16 or 18 inches and riding for about a month with it I found that doing long distances uh, it still had wind hitting on top of my helmet and had wind flow in between so it wasn't really doing much of a job. Strangely enough this is shorter and for uh, and the property of the way it's shaped and designed, the wind actually gets blown above my head. I probably just get a little bit. I get stuff off my chest, so it actually feels so much better, right? So it's an easy install. Um, basically, they, they comes with some clip-ons, which let me try and show it to you here. Uh, hopefully, you can see it. It's there attached to the forks. Right? And it's actually a quick release mount, as you can see from here, hopefully. Yes, right, you probably can see there's a quick release clamp right here. So, uh, it did a good job. Uh, and of course, you know, if you were to look uh, at the bike, obviously, uh, it changed it to a club style, I know. But... Um, it, it's, it's a look that I kind of like, you know, forget about the Sons of Anarchy. It was something that just made the diner look a little better, right? So I've been riding for several months now. I've gone to Thailand with it, various parts of uh, Malaysia with it, and I had no problems, very comfortable, kept the wind off my chest, never hit my helmet, and of course, the fact that it looked pretty good. The other thing that I've added uh, was definitely functional because originally if you were to look at the uh, street bob it came with the mini apes and it was a little bit uncomfortable to ride uh, and especially when you take corners it was uh, pretty rough so what I did was I went ahead and purchased the Krauss and hopefully you can see uh, the logo there All right so this is the Krauss uh, FM fly bar, one inch risers in a sense, and it, and I bought the eight inch risers, which is uh, this thing over here. Sorry for all the wires and the additional bits I've added. So this is the eight inch uh, kickback risers. So it is it, with the one inch uh, rise off the fly bar, as you can see here, the little rise there. Um, it actually was about the same height as the Mini Apes, but the, th the difference is that I had a different riding posture. So the posture was so much better. It made it more comfortable to ride. Uh, I, I could take corners with confidence and it just felt better. So uh, these are the couple of things that I've added and I think these are pretty good events. Uh, good investments, sorry. Those are pretty good investments. Uh, I would uh, highly recommend it. I will put my links below for uh, both of the, the items that I mentioned. They're really very good. It changed the ride 
significantly. It was more comfortable. Uh, the, the risers and the handlebars were also more comfortable and made it easier. It made it better, a better ride, right? A better experience as well. So uh, this is something I recommend. Uh, if you do look into it anyway, they have a lot of other different types of risers and, and handlebars and so forth that you can look into to change at least the handling of the bike. And it's also a matter of preference. So again, thank you very much for listening to this really short video just to tell you about my uh, experience with uh, the changes I made uh, to this bike and uh, how I think it helps in um, first improving the looks of the bike and also of course uh, improving my ride experience. Take care, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like uh, this channel and hope to see you soon.